Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this After Effects logo using Element 3D. First, you just want to go to Google and find whatever picture you want to use for your logo. So for example, I just searched the Murakami Flower PNG, that's this cute little flower as you can see. And if you can, try to find a picture that's transparent like this. Now just go back to After Effects and import the picture. And then just increase the scale if you need to like this and just pre-compose it. You may have to fix up the mask, so like right here, there's just a bunch of these little masks that are unnecessary, so I'm just going to press M, and I'm going to select like where the mask is, then just scroll through this list and find that mask, and then just delete it. So just really try to fix up the mask. If it doesn't, like if it still doesn't look right, then you may just have to um, undo the auto tracing and create your own mask how you regularly like would mask a person or something. So once you've got your mask, create a solid layer and add element 3D to it. Now go to custom layers, custom text and mask and link the layer with the mask. And close this out and you want to do the same thing for custom texture mask. Now open the scene setup. Now press extrude and your little mask should pop up. Now just press this arrow and go to bevel 1. Now just click this picture, go to diffuse, none set, and then click this arrow and just go to custom layer 1 and that should be your picture. Now go back to the extrusion model and go to this little checkerboard thing and make sure it says UV. If you want, you can go back into the bevel and then go to this first icon and just increase the extrude. That's going to make your thing thicker. And once you're happy with how it looks, just press OK to exit out of element. Before we start animating, hide the first layer that should be your original picture and make sure to turn on motion blur. I'm also going to split the clip so it's only one second long. You can make it however long you want. Now go to World Transform and create a World Transform Null and I'm also going to split that and here you can edit like the position, the rotation, um, the size and all of that. So how I animated mine to give an example is I just increased the scale in the beginning and I decreased it in the end and this is my graph for the scale. And I also animated the Y rotation, so I just turned it to a, a high negative number. And then at the end, I just turned it to zero, and this is my graph for that. Now I'm going to add a shake to kind of build up into the explosion, so I'm going to animate the position. But first, you want to right click it and click separate dimensions. That way you can edit the X, Y, and Z positions separately. So once you're happy with how it looks, now you want to create a text layer and just type your group name or whatever you want. Just choose the font that you want it in, you don't have to worry about the color or anything because we're going to edit that in Element 3D anyways. Now you want to just hide that layer and create a new solid layer and you want to add element to that. And also trim the clip so that it's after the first clip. Now go to custom layers, custom text and mask, and link the text that you just made. Now open the scene setup. Now click extrude and your text should pop up. Now just click this little arrow and click bevel one. And this is where you can change the thickness of it and just change any of these other settings. I usually like to click bevel backside. I also like increasing the bevel size. That'll make it just a little bubblier, I guess, um, a little curvier. Then to change the color, you can go to this little sphere and you can change the color here. Or you can use one of the presets from Element 3D. Once you're done with that, you want to go over here where it says models. If you don't have this, I'll link a tutorial in the description to download these. These are just like the pre-made models from Element 3D. So you want to add ball fracture and click this little number and click 2. And you also just want to change the color for this, so again, you can just change the color here or you can use one of the presets. Once you're happy with how these two look, just exit out of element. 
First, I'm going to go to group one, which is the text, and I'm just going to go to particle look and increase the particle size. Now I'm going to go to group two, and I'm going to do the same thing. Now go to multi object and enable it and you want to just keyframe the displacements. So you want to just increase that, but not too much because remember you still wanted to quote unquote explode some more. Now just go to the end of your clip and just increase the displacement even more. And make sure to easy ease these. And you want to just add an out graph. If you want to make each little piece smaller, then just decrease the size. Make sure you're decreasing it under the multi object. Now I'm just going to go back to group 1 and I'm just going to edit the scale of it. Now I'm also going to go to multi object and enable that. I'm just going to keyframe this last rotation and what this will do is it'll make each letter rotate a different direction. At the beginning, I'm just going to increase it a little bit. And then at the end, I'm just going to turn it to the opposite direction. So right now it's in the positive, so I'm going to turn it to the negatives. Now I'm going to go to the world transform and I'm going to create a world transform null. So I'm just going to animate the Y rotation. So in the beginning, I'm just going to increase it. And at the end, I'm just going to decrease it. I'm also going to animate the scale, so I'm just going to increase that in the beginning. And at the end, I'm just going to decrease it. If you want to add a little glow to this, then go to Render Settings, Glow, and enable that. Change this to luminance and just make it a background glow. And now you can just kind of play with these settings here. Lastly, I'm just going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to trim it so it only applies to my second clip. And I'm just going to add a flash. You can add whatever flash you want. I'm going to use S Glow. Just change the brightness to your preference and keyframe that. And just go to the end of your clip and make it zero. And then just easy ease it. And I'm just going to add an out graph. 